My name is Peter Wiedemski. I am at EuroPCR 2019. And uh, with me here is Sándor uh, Nardai from Hungary. Uh, and we will speak about training of uh, cardiologists for stroke interventions. And uh, Dr. Nardai is from Budapest. And he is, to my knowledge, he is the first uh, cardiologist who has uh, both uh, certifications for cardiology interventions and for stroke interventions, or actually for all neuro interventions. So, uh, Shandor, can you tell us uh, how you were trained in cardiology and why and how you were trained later on neuro interventions? Yes, thank you very much for the opportunity to Europe ECR and to you, Peter. It's really a pleasure to be here. So, neuro and cardio to me is basically two uh, fields that resemble a lot and that are in many ways complementary. And I had an interest in both cerebrovascular disease and cardiovascular disease. I had the pleasure to start my training in uh, Budapest with Professor Merkley at the Heart and Vascular Center of Semmelweis University. And as I had an interest in neurovascular, they offered me a research position for stroke research at the uh, Neurovascular Research Center of the same clinic. So based on my research background and my cardiology training, I was offered at the end of my specialization an opportunity to go into a fellowship training at the National Institute of Clinical Neurosciences under the guidance of uh, Dr. Sikora, who is the head of department there, to complete my full training, which is known uh, by, in Hungary. So basically in our uh, country, it is a legal opportunity for cardiologists with two years of interventional cardiology experience to enter into this uh, training the same as it would be open to neurosurgeons, neurologists, and radiologists. So all four specialties, a little similarly to the American system. It's interesting to hear. So as far as I know, you are now working in both departments. So you are doing both cardiology interventions and neuro interventions. Yes, and uh, I never really wanted to give up cardiology. I really like this yeah. field. I just wanted to do complementary and do the two things together if it's possible. And uh, for the best of, of the stroke patients. I believe that the most important uh, uh, thing about cardiologists performing stroke treatment is their contribution to the stroke team. And I believe that this contribution is not going to be effective if they would give up their cardiology practice. So basically, this is almost a new specialty being born neurocardiology. They should work in between the two teams. The best would be in one institute. In my special situation, I'm working for two institutes half-time, half-time, which is a little difficult on the organization side, but it's still worth it, and I hope and believe that it's for the benefit of both parties. There is an ongoing discussion between the European Society of Cardiology and other societies uh, which are in, active in neuroside uh, about the possibilities for cardiologists to train in stroke interventions. Could you give some recommendation how uh, uh, interventional cardiologists could be trained for stroke? So, I believe that the most important thing is to get our training in a large volume center, as we would do with interventional cardiology, as we do with structural interventions. Small centers are not fit for training. And in a large center, the most important is to get the adequate caseload. There is a lot of ongoing debate over how much time we should spend there. Uh, but we should look at this as of the neuro people trying to provide patient safety and not as trying to keep us out. I believe that we are able to find a compromise. Probably the best solution would be to first start out with a theoretic training in parallel with a practitioner's ongoing cardiac activity. And when one is prepared, then after having all the theoretic parts learned, go into a full-time training for a year, most probably in a fellowship, and then get the needed number into their hands. If we would be able to get such a compromise, I believe it would be acceptable for the neuro community as well. And it would actually end up in uh, very, very highly trained professionals being available for even those countries that currently do not have the service available. Thank you. I think uh, your example and your situation is very well set for stroke intervention because acute stroke is an interdisciplinary topic and is definitely best treated when cardiologists, neurologists, radiologists, neurosurgeons, all these specialties could work together. Thank you very much for this discussion. Thank you very much for the opportunity.